Simon. I thought we were going to do some programmes about dinosaurs. We are. So why are we looking at a picture of the Earth? <laughs> because we're going to begin at the beginning, before people were around, and even before dinosaurs were around. Well, if we're going to begin right at the beginning, we should start before the Earth looked like this. Watch. Scientists think that the Earth and the other planets in our solar system were formed from a big, swirling cloud of dust and gases. At first, the Earth was a fiery ball of molten lava, like an enormous volcano. Some of the lava flowed into hot, bubbling streams. Gradually, the lava cooled and hardened and turned into rock. And the mounds and piles of rock formed huge mountains. Then, up in the sky, Clouds were forming. What do you think happened next? It rained. And rained. And rained. And rained. And rained. The rain ran down the huge rocks and mountains to make large areas of water. The sea. And it was in the sea that something very special started to happen. At first, nothing grew beneath the waves. But after the sun had shone down on the sea for millions of years, tiny microscopic plants began to appear. Then bigger plants, like these seaweeds. And gradually... appeared like these. Do you know what they are? They're sponges and they really are creatures. And, and it's here another story begins, the story of animal life. And it starts with the creatures under the sea. First there were jellyfish in the sea. That's where the story begins. Then there were fish with the back and flippity floppity fins. Hundreds of millions of years ago, nature was coming alive. What do you think would happen next? Who would be next to arrive? Some of the fish got bored with the sea and went for a walk on the land. Hang on a ticker -oony. Amphibious life is grand. Do you know what an amphibian is? It's a creature that can live on the land and in water, which is fun if you're an amphibian. <laughs> and here's an amphibian you might recognise. Coming up, some more amphibious info. They live in water and land. <laughs> they can lay their eggs in water water and this is an amphibian it's a frog they begin life like a little black dot and they're, and they're covered in jelly and it's called frog spawn they're a little black dot wiggles about and it becomes a tadpole with a tail and it grows four legs and it loses its tail bit by bit and it becomes a frog. 
This is an amphibian. It's a toad. <laughs> it's going on. <laughs> it feels a bit slimy on the bottom and the top. It looks brown and black and grey. You can tell the difference by a frog and a toad. The frog has smooth skin. A buzz, a buzz. The insects joined in the fun. The cockroaches and dragonflies were hatching in the sun. Reptiles too were lounging around. The crocodiles opened their jaws. They lazed in the sun. Got wet for fun Or walked about on all fours Excuse me, chaps. Thanks very much. <laughs> more and more creatures? Uh, these crocodiles are reptiles, and reptiles are different from amphibians in several ways. For a start, their eggs have a waterproof shell. But that's not all. Time for some more reptile revelations. A snake is a reptile. It's got a dry, scaly skin. Sometimes they have dark colours and some have very light colours that you can see quite easily. This one, though, has got bits of bright orange on it. Its eyes look very still and it uses its tongue to catch flies very quickly any other things that it likes to eat. This is a garter snake. He's about a metre long. The snake's old skin. When the skin gets too small for it and it starts getting tight, it it doesn't eat for about a few days and then the skin comes off and it's got brand new skin. A tortoise is a reptile. This is my tortoise. His name is Humpty. He's got short scale legs and he's got a nice pattern and tortoises can live to be very old. In winter they hibernate because there's less food and it's cold. Tortoises don't have teeth but they have a horny beak to eat the food. He likes to eat Cucumber, lettuce and strawberries. This is a reptile, it's a leopard gecko. The gecko feels soft and it's got a yellow and brownish skin. The gecko can lose its tail if a bird or something um, catches it, but it always grows a new one. It's got a fat tail, which it stores its food in. It's got four feet and its eyes look like cat's eyes. Geckos like to eat wax worms. So reptiles are cold-blooded and they've got dry, scaly skin. Most reptiles lay their eggs on land. 
Most reptiles live on land, but this one doesn't. It's a turtle. People weren't around at the same time as dinosaurs. Some of them looked pretty fierce, didn't they? And it's hard to imagine what size they really were. Well, one way to get some idea is to compare them with your own height or with creatures living today. Take this giraffe, for instance. Now, a real giraffe might be nearly five and a half metres tall, which is about three times as tall as me. And the giraffe is about the same height as... ta -da! The Tyrannosaurus Rex. Come on, then I'll show you. Get, get back, back. <laughs> <laughs> and this dinosaur is called a Deinonychus. It was smaller than the Tyrannosaurus, only about one and a half metres tall, which is about the same height as me. Whereas this Comsognathus <laughs> wasn't very big at all. In fact, it was only about 38 centimetres tall, which is roughly the same height as a hen. Well, some of those dinosaurs weren't too scary, were they? But I'm still glad I wasn't around with a Tyrannosaurus Rex. How about you? No one did those great dinosaurs with love and gracefulness. But dear, oh dear, they would never come near the Tyrannosaurus Rex. 